What's up guys, it's Kelly and I am back for another Nail Art Sunday. I know it's been a while since I did one, but today's is super exciting, so I'm um, really happy to show it to you. It's this stained glass sort of looking manicure and it's honestly so easy. When I say no skill required, like this is one of those manicures that looks like it was so difficult, but it's honestly so easy. It is a little bit tedious, but all you need is this one type of polish, which I'm gonna talk to you about, and some patience. So let's just get started, right? So as usual, I'm just gonna use my Cuccio base coat, which is pretty much my favorite base coat, OPI Holiday, over you which looks black but it's actually a super super dark navy blue and the star of the show which is starly sea glass so this is just like a glitter shard polish so that's what we're gonna be using to get that sea glass stained glass whatever effect and of course a nice thick top coat I am using the Cuccio high gloss top coat which is another favorite of mine and then you can either use a dotting tool or a toothpick I'm just using this orange wood stick because that's what I had available so start off with your clean natural nail and apply your base coat. And once that's dry, you can throw on one or two coats of your base color. So the reason I didn't want to use black is because I wanted there to be just a little bit of depth to it. So this is a dark navy jelly. And I thought that, you know, when the light hits it just right, I feel like it could look kind of, I don't know, oceany. So that's kind of why I went for it. So I am going to take a piece of scrap paper and wipe off some of the shard polish onto there. Now, when I say a piece of scrap paper, I always use coated paper. Like, you know, when you get like those random nailers and stuff, I always save those and I use them as my scrap paper because if you're using regular paper, the nail polish is going to get absorbed. But anyway, so I'm going to take my orange wood stick or you can use whatever tool you have and I'm going to start picking up little pieces one by one of the shards and I'm going to start placing them onto my dry nail. You do want to wait until your base color is totally dry, but then you can go ahead and start placing it on. Basically what I do is I start with the large shapes and then I will go back in with some smaller shapes and start to fill in the gaps and I'm just going to fill up my entire nail doing this. At first, I kind of thought that, you know, it had to be perfect and the shapes had to fit like puzzle pieces, but as I went on, I realized that absolutely doesn't matter. As long as you're just filling in those big gaps with some of those shards, you're going to be totally fine. And this polish has so many different shapes and sizes that you can pretty much fill every single gap, no matter what shape it is, with another little shard. So that's what we're doing here. I sped up this video a tiny bit just because, I mean, it is kind of tedious. It took me a long time to do my whole hand, but honestly, it was worth it because at the end it's so mesmerizing and don't stress if it doesn't look good as you're doing it because once you add the top coat it makes such a huge difference all right so i'm gonna stop talking for a little bit and we're gonna just watch and appreciate <laughs> can i say that about my own video i don't know just watch and appreciate All right, so once you are fully satisfied with how your nail looks, you can go ahead with a nice thick gloopy coat of top coat. I actually ended up doing two coats, but you can see the insane transformation. Once you have that top coat on, like, doesn't this look amazing? I feel like it looks like a mosaic. I'm obsessed with it. I'm in love with it. I couldn't stop staring at my nails when I was done with this manicure. And oh man, I'm so glad I did it. Like I said, it was time consuming, but it was totally worth the effort. I love it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment below letting me know what you want to see in the next Nail Art Sunday. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post nail art videos and other stuff and it's fun. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.